Zoltan. Dandelion, my fool. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Don't catch ya! Step back, white one! What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoia'tael. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the Free Kingdom of Temeria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margot! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! <laughs> Stop the execution. Shut your trap! The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do! Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Leave the witcher be! Got room for one more deviant! Hell, hang anyway! Got room for one more deviant! Yeah, great. Want to square with the ace? Go, Mario! Got room for one more deviant! Hang anyway! Look here, at A sub. He's... What is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits, and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? 
I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Max, I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Richard. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes! What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. Rita wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. Lorita wanted to see me. 
Commandant's busy. Back after dusk. Lorito wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack. A ballista? The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had this That's good a time in ages. To protect people That's from the true. Scoyotel. You know this Peasants one. Uh, let me know. We'll skip me down the path. Travel, travel. That one struts about as if he was a white head filly. Sniffing around some real like... Did you hear? Two big shots are off. Tend to the ballista, Geralt. No passing. Nothing better than a fireside. Place. I don't like. That one right. struts That's about as if he was. I don't like. F and I don't. What are you? <laughs> sniffing around. Doesn't get any better. Who's that a what? Luckily, the commandant provided you himself. Sniffing around. True. <laughs> Come here, lads. Who's a whitehead filly? They say I don't witches like. have no need to They say witches have no need to plow. Well, what you want, old man? Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. I don't like strangers. They say witches have no need to Don't have this good a time well. in ages. That's you true. Know you know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plam all, plam all. Don't you traipse around here. Don't. Oh, you are Huh? Plow them all. You've had your song. Care for some real dialogue. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. I haven't had this good a time in ages. That's Don't true. you traipse around here. Don't you traipse around here. Plough all, Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plough them all, plough them all. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plough them all. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Plam all, plam all. Along came a dwarf bag, kicked they him in the arse. They say witches plam have no all, need to oh, wow. oh, What are? do you need? I wanted to sup so I was- What would Just go with your sp- All right. Draw him- Slap- How's that? Sir Tom- Let me think.
I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. All right, I'm off to give the boy some diversion. That one struts song. about as if he were Care the king himself. Real diversion. Care for a little diversion, brave one? I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Luckily, the Commandant provided it all. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Yes? Do we wait until... Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Soldier, report to me immediately. What do you want? Shut it, soldier! Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's gown. In Flotsam, we cut... I was... Your luck... Commandant, sir. We called the witches sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. 
In that case, we'll get him, too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. You detest non-humans. I detest Yorveth, the coward who hunts the innocent instead of facing soldiers. I detest that horse son who murders women and children while claiming that he fights for freedom. He's a monster, Geralt. He's the evil I protect people from. And anyone who helps a monster becomes a similar monster to my mind. Enough. I get it. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Place. Do you all talk? Prove it. I doubt it. Who's a white-haired filly? Oh! Sorry. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out.
tell him. I'm taking your pound. something interesting here. Say something, or did you just fart? You look strong. Care for the little contest? Dance white, tell him in the eyes. Say Never something, ever. or did you just fart? What's going on here? A competition, brother. Care to take what are the group? The content, the fuck, drop you. Complicate. So, some of them. Say something, Say something. Neither gods nor tempters in the forest tracks. Watch out for the So? Some of them. Hey! Do my eyes? What can I do for my cut? I can put this. So, not right. Look at that, people! I can make no. I can make. Uh, Care to roll some? Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! That was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? 
dandelion calm down, you'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimball didn't count Merivelle, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn. 
the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. You fucker! You free? No, I'm the trophy. I was thinking. About what, new boy? Maybe we ought to try some honest work from time to time. New boy, my friend. What do you heard you have a ah uh, can't help us she's asked me and who's that's what I the source I can't you want uh, no, who could in welcome good day
About what, new boy? <laughs> Maybe we ought to try some honest work. I'll right be down, friend. I'll tell you something. Listen carefully and take it to heart. Never, ever say that again. Dog catcher. Are always said. Go ask the mason to take oh, you as his apprentice. Going somewhere for you. learn a trade. I've always preferred the wandering life. Meet new people, beat some of them up. Not really, it's a shithole. But say we something. Hope to beat up. Or did you just fire? You free? No. My John's over there. He wanted a platonic. Psst! White-haired one. I have an offer for you. Greeting! I'm not... I'm... Sounds good. The form... He... I think... You free? No. You're not handsome enough. Your service. Service. Greetings. Greetings. Everything in order? About what, new boy? New boy, my friend will now tell you something very important. Listen carefully and take it to heart. Yeah. I tell him, I'm taking your parents. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said there's a third option. Then his hand inched yes. towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. Careful with those sort.
you free? La no, well, working my ass sense. off like a stagecoach. Doesn't make any sense. Everything in order? Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. That's the spirit! Moril would delight in a day like this, Sir Heron. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Greetings. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. Now, now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest. 
then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. Hmm? You'll find me by the boat ride. Sheesh, Triss. Sure you're not over you. Take care of yourself. Hmm? I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. I'm glad you're here.
See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. The medallion again. I'm glad you're here. See this foot? Yeah. I'm glad you're here. My medallion. Thank <laughs> you. 
friends. Almost brings a tear to me. Let's examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What else? The Kalin's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? <clears throat> See you. stuff. Cedric, I know.
How many more can there be? Squirrels. Something's troubling me. Is a bloody witcher actually Jolly. sleeps? Uh, mushrooms? Spuds? Witcher, I we need to. No. Leave that to me. I can't wait. Believe it. The honors. Once on the. I've got everything. Excellent. Ready. Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairns are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
cambio.
We did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? The beast got me a couple of times. I've heard you've been in more dire situations. I wonder, are the stories about you true? They couldn't be more true. Especially the ones that are made up. What now? I must harvest the most valuable ingredients while the corpse is fresh. I'd prefer to get the entire carcass to my laboratory and strip it down to the bone. But that would be a waste of power and simply too much work. I shall take only... What have you heard about me? A number of things. You won't talk about them? I've no time now. The fresher the ingredients I collect, the higher the price I'll get. Sorry. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Job done. The Kieran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran at Besnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. What's in these crates, boss? King Vridank's What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. My one's allowed. 
I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorvith. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan, he turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met, where Roses of Remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Latho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead. So much suffering. All for naught. Letho. He's the Kingslayer? Yes. Why does the Dwan want Yorvith dead? He used us. From the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorvath. Sees him as a thorn in his side. Though I don't know what Letho wants. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvath. What if Yorvath already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorvath fights. For that is what he does best. He's Enshe. A real one. A free one. Among the last. Fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge. And I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. 
They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. And they made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts. Then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. about that bonus. Let's go kill some monsters! Want to play soldiers and squirrels? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here.
Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Sinoral. Cedric said Sinoral eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. And that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my. I love it. Look, uh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Yorvith and his kind are taking root. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's it to do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Anne! Kill them! Hit the freak! <laughs> Not bad for a freak of nature! Watch out! Oh. Ah. Ah. Incredible what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. 
Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh-uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you. A witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Ensha remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanting with these very stones. But only those in love can hear them. Bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Well, I'm buggered. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Skoyatel, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm-hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. 
I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Care Morn. It's up to you. Tress. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. If all goes well, I'll catch the Kingslayer before you finish preparing the spells. And if it doesn't go well? Triss, do you really expect me to spend two days at the tavern drinking with the locals while Letho's out there taking control of a Scoia'tael unit? No, but what will you do? What if Yorveth scoffs at your news? What if he says Letho's escaped and no one knows where to find him? Will we go? Will we leave the Regicide to Roach and continue with our own lives? I think so, and I think you're right. I don't owe anyone anything. I'm glad you've noticed that. But that doesn't mean I'm willing to sit around doing nothing. You need time anyway, and in that time I'll catch the Kingslayer. Geralt, please, be careful. I'll go see Zoltan, and together we'll go find Yorvith. With a little luck, I'll capture the Kingslayer, and then... we can go back to living our own lives. Good. Will you talk to Roach? I'll think about it. Gerald! Gerald! There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoia'tael are out in droves. Wait, Vernon. We need to talk. About what? A few days from now, I plan to leave, get back on the path, back to my Witcher's work. That'll mean the end of our mission. Care to tell me what prompted this decision? Triss. She knows how to restore my memory. Why not drop everything and leave now? Triss needs time to prepare the spells. You're giving up. No other name for it. You're just giving up. What of the Kingslayer? Many still believe you're him. I don't think I care anymore. Those whose opinions I value, well, they know the truth. Uh-huh. You see someone kick a dog and you're incapable of letting it go. And you want to release that fiend who we've succeeded in cornering, who's thrashing to get out of the cage we've put up around him. I want nothing of the sort. I'm not leaving for a few more days. In that time, I'll catch Letho for you. That's the Kingslayer's name, incidentally. I know how to get him. How? You're not going to like this, but it'll involve working with the Scoia'tael. Is your mind completely plowed at this point? Did Triss put this nonsense in your head? Listen to me. You'll get your Kingslayer soon. I'll give you him or his head. After which you'll clear me of all charges and let me go my way. What else? Perhaps you'd like me to embrace Yorveth in gratitude as well. Yorveth's not my problem. I'm no elf hunter. I've never been one, and I don't intend to become one. Oh, enough. You've made your decision, I can see that. So be it. But I think we all know who's being the prick here. Mm -hmm. 